up guys uh, this is a uh, humpy goat with uh, humpy goat gaming and uh, I play a lot of uh, MLB the show 16 so I figured I would start uh, uploading videos uh, to YouTube for uh, for that game so I'd like to start out with a uh, with a, an overview of my squad um, I like to play a lot of Diamond Dynasty I think it's uh, the best mode by far on a it will be the show 16, so I'll start off with my pitching staff. Um, I got uh, an 88 Chris Archer from the uh, the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Corey Kluber, uh, he's a righty from the Indians. Um, we got, let's see, uh, Drew Pomeranz, uh, Padres lefty. And we have uh, Rich Hill, he's a lefty from the A's. And... Uh, the only reason I don't have another uh, gold uh, player in my starting uh, pitching rotation, I, you can see there's some some open options up here. But uh, I threw in Jaime Garcia because uh, I figured it would be more beneficial to have uh, uh, three lefties instead of uh, three righties just because uh, a lot of people's... Uh, I don't know. A lot of people's lineups are uh, are more geared towards uh, uh, playing against uh, righties. So I I included an extra lefty, and uh, I can't see my my hitting stats on here with that. But uh, uh, I actually in a Diamond Dynasty game uh, raked with Jaime Garcia, uh, so I figured I would throw him in there, and maybe uh, maybe that'll happen in one of these uh, live games that I play. And um, here's my uh, my starting lineup. Let me get over to center field real quick. We'll start off with uh, Carl Crawford. Uh, he uh, is he, yeah. He's a center fielder. Where is he at? Is he a left fielder? Oh yeah. Okay. My bad. He's actually a left fielder, but I put him at center because of his speed. Uh, as you can see, he's got 97 speed, uh, which is good for tracking down those fly balls out in center. Uh, he's His arm strength kind of sucks, uh, which is kind of, in a way, bad for being a center fielder, but uh, I hope to make up with that for his speed. Uh, 86 fielding, uh, he's a, a contact hitter, uh, 91 against, uh, 96 against righties, uh, pretty good vision at 76. Uh, he's... Uh, at the top of my lineup because uh, he's one of those guys I like to get him on base like with that 97 speed I like to get him on base first I don't usually uh, uh, I don't usually bunt right off the bat I'm not a, a bunt cheeser I hate that I, so I don't I don't start off bunting I only use it uh, when it's uh, a good tactic to move base runners especially in like battle royale that's that's when bunting really comes in play I feel like bunting is a lot easier on uh, the show 16 than it was last year. Just seems seems like that. And we also uh, uh, at left field we have uh, Chris Bryant from the Cubs. Uh, he's uh, with the inside edge. He's up to 95. Uh, got him from uh, actually got him from the captain's mission, which is a good way to score diamond and gold players. By the way, if uh, you're uh, on a budget and you really want to get some of those players. See so at shortstop uh, from the Indians, we got Francisco Lindor. Uh, he's 87 gold. Uh, also a contact hitter. Uh, 76 against right, 78 against left. Uh, pretty good vision at 73. He's also got 80 speed. Um, I like him a lot. Let's see first base. We've got uh, Brandon Belt starting. Uh, definitely a power hitter. Uh, well, I guess I take that back. I thought he was. He's more of a, uh, he's, well, he's pretty evenly a power hitter, uh, 68, 66, 67 for power, so, I mean, I guess, you know, being, a, as long as he's over, I try to, as, for, as far as power goes, like, as long as they have over, like, 55, I can probably smack a home run with him. He's got really high contact against righties, so though, at 83, um... That's my first baseman. Uh, let's see, third base. We've got Evan Longoria. Oop. Evan Longoria, uh, 86 gold. Uh, 
another uh, contact hitter. He's got some pretty good power, 71 against right, 78 against left. Um, that uh, uh, 88 fielding is nice at third base. Uh, helps against those bunters. Let's see, we got Ma uh, Matt Kemp. Uh, not the flashback, unfortunately. But uh, we've got Matt Kemp at right field, uh, 85 with the inside edge. Um, the only reason I don't have Miguel Sano at that position is uh, for some reason, like, I cannot hit very well with uh, Miguel Sano. I've hit a few home runs with him, but but I figured I'd give Matt Kemp a shot. Uh, it looks like C Steven Piscotti is down. Like, he was, he, uh, last time I checked, he was like at a 90 with the inside edge, but I guess, I guess, uh, he hasn't been doing too hot lately or something or other. Well, let's see, we got, uh, Matt Carpenter at second base, uh, 88 gold for the St. Louis Cardinals. So St. Louis, of course. Um, I've had pretty good luck with him. Uh, it took me a while to get used to batting with him. He kind of looks like he's drunk. He, like, sways around with his stance. I got, uh, Jason Kipnis on the bench. Uh, and at catcher we have Carlos Santana. He's actually a first baseman. But, uh, his, uh, as you can see, maybe, there we go. As you can see, his secondary position is catcher in third base. So I went ahead and put him at third base. Uh, he's got a, a 99 uh, discipline, which is interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, on the bench, we've got Kevin Kiermeyer, Jason Kipnis, Dumbo Wombus. Dumbo Wombus is obviously my creative character. He's got a, a face a mother only a mother could love. Uh, pretty even in stats, uh, 75 contact right, 74 left, 74 power, 72 power, 76, ugh, excuse me, 76 vision, 81 fielding, that 85 arm strength is pretty nice, uh, 74 speed. And we have Freddie Freeman, uh, a lefty on the bench. We got a lot of lefties on the bench. Uh, that's, uh, not sure why, uh, but that's how it happened. Uh, Kenny Lofton, uh, obviously a, a, a flashback card on the bench in left field. Now, uh, a team's rated 86 overall, 83 pitching, 75 defense, 67 speed, 66 power, and 76 contact. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and hop into a Diamond Dynasty game, and uh, if you like this... Uh, if you like this video, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd, uh, go ahead and drop a like on it and, uh, subscribe if you're interested on seeing more. Um, uh, this is Humpy Goat, and, uh, thank you very much for watching.